in, in reality, it was just friends. Like, no offense, but like. No, literally, friends. But, yeah. Like, that <laughs> word, like, can't be used. Like. I know. But, like, no offense. I just didn't feel that way. Yeah. I don't feel that way. It's just we click on a different level. And sorry, that's the truth. <laughs> that whole time frame was when Lance and I were traveling out to LA and flying home. And like he would come over when we visit at home and stuff. Once we moved into the house, it was kind of like, okay, now we're roommates. This is when Rachel, Cody, Shane, and his girlfriend all lived with us. Mm -hmm. Like Rachel and I, we all clicked the same yeah. exact way. Literally the same way. Rachel and him had the same friendship that me and him have right Literally. now. Yeah. Like, it's, we all had that, like, same mindset, I guess, same mind frame. You and Cody, like, you got you guys were close, too. It's, like, I don't know. Certain people match, certain people don't in, like, certain topics, I guess. But after he was in the house for a little while, we obviously got a little closer from living with each other. Same thing with Chris. Like, when Chris used to live with us, if you guys don't know who I'm talking about, he's an old roommate that we used to live with out in L.A., um... We got close with him, obviously. Lance and I got close with him. And then I got close with him just by living with him. You're not going to not get close to somebody you live with. I got close with Rachel. I got close with Shane. It, it happens yeah. if you live with each other. It's literally like I looked at everyone I lived with as either a brother or a sister figure other than Lance. Yeah. Like, he was my husband figure. <laughs> like, that's how it felt. After we lived together for a little while, Aunt and I were asked to do some things together. Aunt and I would be asked to, like, put the patio furniture together or take the trash out together. And then it's like people looked at that as, like, we were a couple or we were flirting. And it's like, it's no. Really just the house chores. Like, if Lance is working, Lance is doing his things in his office, like, me and Lizzie aren't really doing anything. So it's like, we do the stuff around the house, mm -hmm. whether it's we're asked to do it or it's just the house responsibilities. Like, exactly. it just has to get done. If we're the only ones living in the house, who else is going to do it? Exactly. And, like... We respected Lance if he was working or whatever, and we just, we took it amongst ourselves to go and do it. No big deal. But like when comments would be made and like stuff would be said about us, that's when it got annoying. I don't know. It's like, it's really confusing and it hurts because like, I was in love with Lance. I'm, I still have a love for him. I'm not in love with him anymore just because of other stuff that happened, but I needed to do me. And you guys think I left Lance for him. He was still living in the house when I left. Like, I don't know what transpired between him and Lance. That's what Lance. I was going to say. A big thing that needs to be cleared up, Lizzie and Lance, their relationship had nothing to do with me. They broke up for reasons that had absolutely nothing to do with me. Mm -hmm. Me and Lance, our friendship ended with something that had to do nothing with Lizzie. Like, it's two completely separate scenarios. He says, the timing's ironic. It is! Like, truth be told, he tried to say that, like, I was lying about not being able to afford to live there anymore because of how much he paid me. But he over-exaggerated how much he paid me, and I wasn't lying. I offered to show him my bank statements. Like, I could not afford to live in that house anymore. I wasn't working for him. I didn't have a job. Like, it just, I couldn't do it. It wasn't financially smart. My parents offered me to live back at home where I wouldn't have to pay any rent. And like, who would not take that? Like, it's not my fault that he was breaking up with Lizzie at the exact same time. And like, in his mind, he just convinced himself that like, this entire scenario was going on. And he went to social media with it. And I feel terrible for Lizzie because this is her career. This is her life. And like, he just... I don't, he said before that that isn't him the type of person, like, doesn't want to involve himself with drama or any of this. And then he goes and, like, tries to ruin her life over stuff that's not even true, that he just convinced himself of. And then he found out it wasn't true. No apology. Not a thing. No deleting tweets. It just leaves it out there for the world to see. She's still getting hate. I'm still getting hate. Like, it's it's not fair. Another thing, and we're getting called, like, cheaters. Lizzie, you're a fucking cheater. You cheated on Lance with Anthony because you blew a kiss to him. That was hilarious. That hurt me. The fact that that's not what happened, that's what upsets me, is that I was faithful. I did nothing with this kid. Like, nothing. I was faithful towards him. At, with him. Like, nothing. And he... Just like, he was so convinced that something was going on because Lance and I, our relationship was ending for like, honestly, a while. Like, it, it wasn't like brand new to us. We said this in our video that we made for you guys. We knew this for some time. 
So it's like, once he saw that, once he realized that our relationship was ending and him and I were still friends, it like, he, he couldn't handle it mentally, I guess. Like, it was like, he could he didn't understand our friendship and why him and I weren't like that. Like, we, it was hard to like break up with somebody and not be best friends with them anymore. It took time for me to obviously get out of the house. My entire life was in that house. Yeah. It wasn't easy. And then people are calling me like, names and stuff and calling me an asshole for taking the bed. I bought that bed. Like, I purchased that with my money. I'm gonna take it. I bought this couch. Like, I'm sorry. I'm not made of money. Like, I need my furniture to, to sleep and live. I'm not gonna go buy all new stuff. I, I need it. I think another topic that needs to be touched on is the comments everyone leaves to Lizzie about the dogs. Like, my personal opinion, living with them, she cared about these dogs more than anything I've ever seen. She did. She fed them. She Everything that had to be done, like, she cared about them. And I get it. Lance was working. So you just need to understand to not have, like, the mindset that, oh, I need to have this animal. That takes a lot of responsibility to take care of. If and you don't he have travels. That yeah, if you don't have that time, like, no. So people are like, why didn't Bella get to stay with him? Look where Spark is, guys. Like, seriously. He got this new dog, and it's staying at his mom's house. I would not want to leave those dogs in anyone else's hands beside her. I mentally wouldn't have been able to get past everything that I got past if I didn't have my dogs. Like, I'm not gonna lie, like, though they are what kept me mentally stable. Like, if I was crying or upset, Bella was right here on my chest. Theo was up here laying on my head in bed. Like, if it weren't for them, I wouldn't have made it through what I got through. I'm not gonna lie to you. It just, he had his entire family living right next door to him to support him and be there for him. I didn't. I, I needed to figure out me, myself, by myself, and I had my little puppies. What is wrong with that? Like he said, I took care of them. I paid for 95% of the vet bills. I walk them, bathe them, pay for their haircuts, pay for their vet bills. Like, I, I did what you, you do for them. your dogs. Seriously. Like, why would I not? Like, why would I not take my dogs? That's, that's what I just don't understand either. I just don't think people understood the big picture, and that's why it needs to be said. Like, anything we're covering right now is, we're just covering what was already put out on the internet. Whether it got deleted, whether it's still up, it got put out there, and I'm getting hate for all of this stuff. I'm not going over anything else that has not been put out on social media. Yeah, just drink your red bull. Can I have my water? Uh, okay. <laughs> I've never seen someone literal spit take in my life. <laughs> Can I have my water, please? You weren't expecting the ranch at all. I like turn and just see the <laughs> That was hilarious. I just don't understand why in people's lives, they think that a girl and a guy can't be friends without there being something emotionally there or they're fucking. I don't understand that. Because I have guy friends, other than him. And I have girlfriends, literally other than you. Like, I... It's so annoying. It's just like the personality click. Like, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. Male I thought I looked like a turtle, so don't... At this okay, so I'm editing my video right now, and I just realized that I got sidetracked at this one part where I said I was going to go into detail, and I really didn't. I get changed after this because I thought I looked like a turtle, so don't mind me. But he put this video on Twitter of making it look like I blew Anthony a kiss. And if you actually watch from the very beginning, you see that there's a car in the driveway that I was blowing a kiss to. So obviously, Anthony and I were waiting by the car for Lance to unlock it and to finish filming so we could get into the car. And I had a friend over and she was leaving. I don't know if he purposely didn't put the beginning because it made me look bad or if he actually just didn't see from the very beginning. Then right after. Things are getting juicy. So this video was posted on April 1st, 2018. And a bunch of fans were commenting under this video saying that Lizzie blew Anthony a kiss at 38 seconds in. Let's check it out. I'm gonna get my dad a dope ass gift. But I just wait. Oh, ho, ho, did you miss it? Let's let's take a rerun. I'm gonna get my dad a dope ass gift. But I just wait. I'm gonna get my dad a dope ass gift. But I just wait. I'm gonna get my dad a dope ass gift, but I just wait. Okay, now that you saw that, this is the funniest part. Lizzie realizes I'm still recording and the camera is being shown on her, and look at her reaction. She literally puts her head down. Till last minute with everything, it sucks. I don't know why I do this, but that's just how my- Wow. That's all I can say as well. For the past six months, this shit's been going on, probably even longer, and I missed every single clue.
So yeah, he put that on Twitter, and once I saw that, I was just laughing because I personally knew that I did not blow him a kiss because one, like I've been saying this entire video, Anthony and I had nothing, so why would I blow him a kiss? Just doesn't make sense. Another thing, who blows a kiss to the side of somebody's head when they're not looking? There's just so many things just doesn't make sense. My, my friend's car in the driveway. He wanted to focus on himself. So I didn't feel like it was the best U Haul truck by myself. Don't know how. I drove Kelly's car a few times and I've driven. That's it. But so I feel comfortable to drive again. Anyway, my point is when I was living at Kimmy's, I didn't have a car, and honestly, I had no one else. I had Anthony and I had Kelly, and him and I were still friends. When he was living at the house with Lance, Anthony, I barely talked. We because he was still living with Lance. Yeah. He was Lance's friend. Why would why w technically why would he choose this friend over him? But then they had a falling out when after I moved out. So him and I kind of like rekindled our friendship and stayed friends. When he moved back home, he helped me and like if I was hungry or something and I wanted food he would take me to get it in exchange sometimes I would pay for his stuff because it's like he was helping me so I was helping him free food <laughs> so this one night he took me to Wawa and I went inside to get the food because I didn't know what I wanted and yeah I got out of his car but what was the point of hiding it it's like we're friends there's no need to hide it yeah, wow I, I didn't think it. somebody would go to the extent of Filming you exit a food facility being like, no way. And the worst part about it is it's these, these people from the, the high school that I used to go to. Fake ass people. Anyway, I don't know if I have the screenshots or the videos of what was put out there. I will put them right here in the middle of us if I do. So if you're seeing them right now, that's why. Okay, so this is honestly some stalker level stuff. And it made me feel really uncomfortable once I saw this because I it just made me feel uncomfortable. Like, why is somebody going out of their way to record me walking to somebody's car? Like, that just made me feel really uncomfortable. But yes, this is the footage that I have. And I wanted to do a voiceover and show you guys. I will put a screenshot right here on the screen as well to show you how many views that this video actually had. And... They potentially tried to ruin me, I guess, to get their name out there for some reason, but it didn't work, but yeah. One night I tweeted, I didn't even text him and ask him to take me this night. Yeah. Like, I tweeted, he was streaming at the time, if you want to follow the stream. Hey! Like down below. <laughs> but um, after he got done his stream, he texted me.